Tampa. Let's talk about Richard Jefferson, who almost tapped that ass. Yeah, let's be real about it. Uh, we saw him on set, was it NBA Live, uh, with Malika Andrews as the host, and Chine, and I know Chine, and that's the homie, but I have never attempted, and I'm going to try right now to say her last name, but she's going to probably hit me up and say, dog, that ain't it. Ogwukme, uh, I don't know. Uh, but Chine, I've always called her Chine, let me keep it Chine on here. All right, so anyway, if you watch the video, you can see that they're all just talking about a play, doing their regular work. And then Chine walks by Richard Jefferson. Now, remember who Richard Jefferson is. Let's talk about him, the former player turned analyst uh, who's now being accused of inappropriate behavior toward Chine on live TV. Uh, obviously, he's going to deny this, and let's talk through the denial. But this is what happened. He's a 17-year veteran of the NBA. Last time I checked, all the dudes play in the NBA. No women, right? WNBA versus NBA. So 17 years where you're around dudes and dudes hit each other on the butt. I've probably done it too as well, but I'm not conscious of it. But I'm sure I don't slap somebody. Yeah, my, that's what I'm talking about, dog, you know? So you got 17 years of muscle memory. Now, obviously, you're in a different place. So you're going to have to lose a lot of that muscle memory because you're not working with just men. Okay, so we understand that. So let's talk about what happened and then we're going to have some fun with this. Uh, this was his response to everyone accusing him of inappropriate behavior. God, no. I like my job. I'm crazy, not stupid. Even though she did fake the, the, and I don't know what that was. Okay, now this is what I saw. I'm going to give it to you like I saw it. When Chile walked by, she had no idea because she's the one that walked by him. And he kind of gave one of those, and then he stops in the moment. You can see the video, right? So I think he caught himself because he realized, oh, man, where am I? Oh, yeah, this ain't the court. Oh, yeah, this ain't the locker room. Oh, yeah, this ain't one of my boys. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to do that where I am right now. But Chile ain't the one that really made me say, hmm, Richard, oh man, and look, I done slipped up before with inappropriate behavior. I don't, I don't came at like a, a host or a hostess at a time, like I was in the locker room instead of on network television. We'll get to those stories. So here we go. He stops himself, and then I was like, all right, I'm not sure where the verdict is on this. Was he really gonna smack it and then realize that's a woman that can't do that, or was he just like? You know what? I'm playing it off all the way through, and I never was thinking about doing that. But then Malika, oh, Malika, boy, I love me some Malika because she wears her emotions on her sleeve, or in this moment, on her face and her hands. Watch Malika when she walks by. She gave him the pat. Now, everybody who knows me, I call it the double tap. And <laughs> there's so many people that pop up into my face right now who I've told this to before. I said, watch body language with people. And I've been saying this for years. When you get the double tap, that's them respectfully saying, you dumb mother. <laughs> that's what, like they do this like, hey, 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 like chill. Like you stupid. You doing too much. And Malika walks by Richard and she's giving that fake smile, that smug smile like mm, we're on TV, but. What the f was you doing, right? One of those. And I was like, ah, she thought the same thing I thought. Now, I am here to not defend Richard, but to explain where Richard was in that moment. I've been there before. There was a conversation we had on our show, and Joy Taylor was there, the, the little homie, right? I've known Joy since she was itty bitty, right? Because of Jason Taylor, um, her brother. So, we were talking about Deshaun Watson and his case, and you know me. I was talking about the case in a realer way than Acho was. I was talking about it like, yo, there are false accusations out there, and there are also male predators that are freaks out there. And guess what? Both can be true in this situation, but let's talk through it. Now, that probably wasn't a network conversation, <laughs> but you yeah, know me, I had to talk it. And Joy came in, and Joy's conversation was to talk about her personal history with sexual assault. Er, what do you do? 
There was this gender awkwardness moment in terms of what her history and experience was versus ours, right? Clear, defined, bold difference. But Acho and I, and I, I may, I'm I able to say this, walked off set and we were like, dog, after Joy spoke, what could we do? What could we say? Like, it, it just felt inappropriate and insensitive to actually continue what my lane and theme of conversation was versus hers. We were on two different ends of the spectrum. And I, I didn't regret not speaking back or talking through the nuance of what she was saying, but I felt like, wow, I just got put in a corner or wow, I'm out of position. Kind of like Richard Jefferson in that situation. You're out of position. You're not supposed to do that. Another time this has happened when I was talking to someone with the WNBA. We were talking about how can we make the league better? Because we all know the WNBA kind of sucks. Like, like it's getting subsidized by the NBA. They paying them. Like, even I know the players. They like, we have to work year round. We got to go to Europe. We got to go all overseas because we don't make enough in the WNBA. Blah, 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 right? But I'm talking for real to somebody. And they took the conversation into like a feminist argument. They took the conversation into women's rights argument. And I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm talking product, right? I'm talking ratings. I'm talking numbers, right? And numbers don't care about you. Words do. And I used to always tell that to people. That's why I love math. Because I was like, dog, a number don't give a damn about your story. Your bill is your bill. It don't care how you got there. It's a number. Words are what we kind of pull on in terms of emotions and empathy and sympathy. You use words. So you go to math class if you're a hard ass, right? And you go to English class if you're a softy. Basically, I used to always tell my friends. But I'm having this argument with someone who was not letting me talk through the particulars because it became a grander conversation as binary as male, female, right? Richard Jefferson again. So I thought that was really interesting that he got caught in this moment. Now, I am not trying to blow his spot up. He did not try to tap that ass, but he caught himself, which I guess is better than fully going through it and then try to make up something after it even though he got caught halfway through it and still made up something after it. 